atakula ka tuna fikra zetu ili tuweza baba kutafakari juu ya neno lako ambalo limesoma kwetu nawe katika roho mtakatifu ujifunue kwetu ili baba tuweze kukujua na pia kudua kujua maana ya wakati huu wa Christmas kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu Ah uh, ukiangalia okay, katika taratibu yetu ya mahubili ile cells inasema ya kwamba ni ujumbe ambao ambao yule ambao tunao ni foretold the birth of Christ eh, foretold na katika jambo hili limeeleweka vizuri sana e, katika neno hili ambalo tumesomewa kwa sababu linahusisha masgumzo kati ya 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 the angel Gabriel na Mariam na katika jambo hili ukiangalia verse yenyewe hii ambayo iko katika taratibu yetu the, the guiding word verse 31 Luke chapter 1 verse 31 inasema hivi utachukua miba utamzaa mtoto wa kiume nawe utampa jina Yesu na ukienda hapo chini that four yasema hivi Maria akamchibu yawezekana nchi hayo hali mimi ni bikira mwisho katika masomo yana mwambia haya mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana na nitendewe kama ulivyosema kisha yule malaika akaenda zake e, sina wakati wa kuzungumzia mila za arusi za za wayahudi lakini siko saba saba siko sina you know it's almost equal the the the, the Jewish tradition of marriage negotiation siko karibu na zetu wale watu ambao wametoka sehemu ya Mount Kenya familia wawili familia mbili zilikuwa zinakutana kijana wakipendana although the issue of love was not so much they used to do the the match the the, 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 the matching the matching of the mate members of the family walikuwa wanataftia vijana wao na vijana wao wasichana the the the, the matching of the bride ndio walikuwa wanatumia wengi wao na wa, wakikubaliana kama watu wa familia kijana alikuwa anapewa nafasi ili aende akajenge nyumba na muda huu ulikuwa ni muda wa mwaka mmoja you only given a period of one one year wakati huu wa utuba na muda huo kimalizika familia ya kijana ya msichana walichukua walichukua wanajipanga msichana wasichana walikuwa wanajipanga na pia vijana na katika saa sita saa usiku siku ilikuwa imewekwa ndipo huyu uh, uh, huyu ambaye anaolewa ndipo alikuwa anachukuliwa na, na, na Yesu alipokuwa hapa duniani alipeana mfano wa the ten virgins alipeana katika alipeana kisukumzia hilo njambo katika eh, mafundisho yake alisukumzia hilo njambo bila hayo mambo yalikuwa yanatendeka ya ilikuwa ni vile vile alivyotendeka eli, wakati mambo hayo yalipokuwa yametendwa na yamefanyika na yo, na Yosefu alikuwa yeye alipokuwa karibu kumchukua mke wake msichana huyu mchuba wake wakaishi pamoja ndipo Mungu akawaone kwamba wanafaa ili watumie ili aweze kufanya tendo na wakofu wa ulimwengu wote. He found them to be worthy as a couple to use them for God to bring the whole salvation of mankind. Mambo ya uchuba, when once you are engaged, you are treated like wife and husband. So engagement or betrothal it was very binding as equal as marriage. Hata ikifika wakati ambapo mmoja wenu amekufa kama kama msichana amekufa you are regarded as 
be regarded as um, a, a widow, a virgin widow. Divyo, divyo, divyo kuwa. No, kwa hivyo jabu hili, uh, Mariamu kuambia kwa mba atapata mimba. Ilikuwa ni stuko kubwa sana katika maisha ya Mariamu. Because that one also. Unajua katika sheria ya Musa. The issue of undertaking uzini ilikuwa ya kwamba utapigwa mawe so accepting that i'm going to, to deliver is to start amount to accepting death kwa sababu kama hangekuwako na na uhusiano mzuri au mwasiliano mzuri ya maraika kwa sababu maraika mwenyewe alienda na akapeleka hujumbe mpaka kwa Yusuf si ndio na akamwambia kwamba usione haya kuchukua huyo atakuwa mke wako kwa sababu mimba ambao anayo ni roho mtakatifu. Lakini you can see the submission ile ambayo huyo mama alikuwa nayo. The surrender, the submission. Kwa Mungu mwenyewe akasema ya kwamba na itendeke kama vile amesema. I have accepted the will of God to be done in my life. Was a great say. I'm only a servant of the Lord. Mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu na itendeke kama vile Mungu amesema. Ikiwa ni kupigwa mawe kama mtu ambaye amezini, ikiwa ni kuachwa na Yusufu, mimi niachwe. Kama ungekuwa na muda. Tunazungumzia mambo ya doctrine moja ya kanisa hili au ya Ukristo ambao ni ngumu kuelewa nambao ilifanya kanisa ligawanyike mara tatu kwa sababu kuna vikundi vitatu ambavyo vinakataa mambo ya the virgin birth Arianism walikataa ukawa na kikundi kama hicho Ebionites kikundi kingine kilikuwa kinaitwa namna hiyo ah wakagawanyika na na hao na na na, na, na tatu the gnosticism not gnostics ilifanya kanisa lipo lipoanza kufundishwa wale ambao wanafanya historia ya Kikristo hawa walikataa mambo haya mambo ya the virgin birth ya biblia kuonyesha kwamba Yesu alizaliwa e, yewe na bikila Mariamu bila bikira Mariamu kuna kuna na mwanamume. Na tunaona ukiangalia ukiangalia katika Biblia yenyewe inaonyesha mambo haya kama vile imeandikwa. Lakini jambo moja pia li, limeeleweka ni kwamba Yusufu he was a foster parent. Liko na Biblia imesema kama ni, 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 ni itaje machache uh, ambayo inaonyesha mambo hayo ukisoma katika madhayo eh, mrango wa kwanza aya mrango wa kwanza aya kumi na nane hadi 25 inasema hivi kwa Kiingereza Jesus was born of Mary without a human father iko imeonyesha hivyo katika masomo letu la kwanza linasema ya kwamba E, Isaias e, mrango wa saba hadi 14 inasema hivi a virgin shall conceive and bear a son Emmanuel God with us inaonyesha vile vile na kwa sababu hili jambo ni jambo ambalo lilikuwa nabii wamelitoa kwa muda mrefu bila Yesu atakavyosaliwa na hata kusudi ya yeye mwenyewe kuja hapa duniani kama Mesaya Jesus was a very special person with a special mission. Na kwa hivyo kuja kwake his entry into the world was also very particular and very special. Hata ingawa alikuwa anakuja kumwokoa binadamu, alikuja yeye mwenyewe katika hali hiyo in a very special way. Na ni jambo ambalo alikuwa limenakiliwa na jambo ambalo lilikuwa limesoma ukiangalia katika mti the family tree of Jesus kama vile Biblia yenyewe imeandika 
tunaona ya kwamba chanzo za the family tree natoka kutoka kwa Yusufu his genealogy it is from Joseph in human and even their cultural part of it you can read this from Ruk chapter 3 verse 23 Ruk chapter 3 verse 23 na pia Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 to 17 Joseph was not his leo father but he uh, adopted Jesus when Jesus was lost in the in the temple unamuona mama alipompata katika hekaru Ruk chapter 2 verse 48 anamwambia your father and I have been looking for you your father baba yako na mimi tumekuwa tukikutafuta pia katika maisha ya wa, ya Wayahudi kama vile vijana wanacheza kule nyumbani na kule kwingineko yeye alikuwa anaitwa the son of the carpenter he used to be called the son of the carpenter John chapter 13 verse 35 John chapter 6 verse 42 na kwa hivyo uki, ukiangalia inaonekana ya kwamba Yesu ni kweli alizaliwa na nabi kila Maryam he was born through the virgin or through the virgin bar na tena ukiangalia hata wakati wa Paulo anapoandika barua kwa wagaratia anasugumu rango wa ine na aya ya ine anasugumzia hayo mambo akiongea mambo ya Kristo in the fulfillment of time wakati ulipowandia wa Mungu kuja hapa ulimwenguni yule ambaye alikuwa amezaliwa na mama ndiye ambaye alimtuma born of a woman this Paul says Jesus was born of a woman excluding the father here born of a woman Jews believed kuna mambo matatu ambayo wayahudi walikuwa wanaamini katika mambo ya kuzaliwa Jesus, Jews believed that every child there was three partners or components there were three partners in, in every birth of a child hiyo ilikuwa inaleta shida the father the mother and the spirit katika mwaya mama alikuwa anajua ni kwamba mambo haya matatu ni lazima yahusike baba mama na roho wa Mungu ilikuwa ni lazima lakini hapa kuna kumekuja jambo lingine ambalo linasema kwamba it is minusing the father ni roho peke yake ambaye anahusika katika jambo hili na na mama ma, ma mwenyewe what is this this am i talking about because of time what is this i'm talking about the virgin birth the the immaterial yule ambaye haukua yeye mwenyewe ni material yenyewe yeyote the immaterial the Holy Spirit of God. Alitumika katika material ya uku ya Mary. And God did the miracle. Where, where the Father is not involved. It is only now the Spirit. Ni kwanini mungu haku utumia jia ya kawenda ya hao watatu wabawa ni kwa nausika ni kwa sababu Yesu ile tendo alikuwa anafanya anakuja kufanya ni kuokoa ulimwengu kutoka kwa dhambi na kwa hivyo yeye kama angezaliwa kama vile mimi nilizaliwa angekuwa na dhambi ukisoma katika warumi murango wa tano aya ya 17 aya ya 12 17 na 19 Paulo anasukumzia hilo jambo If Joseph was involved in any way during the time conception and the delivery this would have disqualified the virgin birth Ilikuwa ni virgin birth kwa sababu Yesu alizaliwa bila bila 
Mariamu kuonana na mwanamume. Na hata wakati wake wote during the gestation period mpaka huyu mtoto akazaliwa. Kwa sababu kama mwanamume angehusika the natural seed the nature the nature seed ile ambayo inatuletea shida ingemuingia kupitia kwa Yosef. That's why he becomes the perfect and sinless. Kulingana na hivi na Paulo ameandika in Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Kwa sababu dhambi inaingia wakati e mtu alipokufa, I mean Adam and Eve walipoingia katika dhambi. So he had to separate this but not involving Adam in this. Na hii ndio inamfanya Yesu yeye ni mtakatifu. Na tena kama Yosefu kama angehusika katika conception he would not have been been the son of God. He would not have been a perfect man. Na kwa hivyo ndipo mambo Yusufu hakuhusishwa katika jambo hili because ya dhambi ile ya Adam ambao inapatikana kila mmoja wetu mme na mke wanapozaa mtoto anakuwa na hiyo si ndipo Paulo anasukumzia in Roman chapter 5 na ndipo Daudi ukisoma katika e, kitabu cha Zaburi uh, hamsini na moja na aya ya tano anasema hivi mimi nilizaliwa katika dhambi hata mamangu alipata mimba katika dhambi dili la mama is is confession daudi kwa sababu alipokuwa alipokuwa anatubu alitubu dhambi ya adam kasema ya kwamba mimi kuzaliwa at in my during my own conception psalms chapter 51 verse 5 even during my own conception wakati mamangu alikuwa anashika mimba na hata pia baadaye he talks about the conception behold i was brought forth in iniquity and it seen my mother conceived me that's what what he's talking about kwa hivyo tunaposema mambo ya the 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 the, the, the virgin birth ambao it is very controversial in our christian faith and the interpretation of the scriptures beginu wana wanakubali half half wengine but i want to assure you jesus christ was born by a virgin and mary was a virgin at the time of conception at the time of the delivery and we have enough evidence in the scriptures we have enough evidence if jesus was not born by a virgin Mary through the virgin birth that defeats does not make does not complete the work of salvation kwa sababu ili nimalize mambo mawili katika maisha yetu kama wa Kristo ya kwamba issues regarding holiness na mambo ya wakofu si kwa mtu mwingine the bible says inatuambia kwamba we are holy because god is holy inchi ya Israel inaitwa Holy Land not because my offer at the Lake Kule studio it is called the Holy Land it is because of God involvement kuna inchi kuna inchi nyingine ambayo inakuwa na vita zaidi ya Israel <laughs> Palestinian na watu wale wengine but we call it the Holy Land because God walked in that land he made it holy by his presence You are holy because God is holy not because you are worthy. Mambo ya wakofu hakuna kwa njia nyingine ni kwa Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. Salvation not in any other person or through any other way. And that's what we read. Ephesians tuwekee kwa haraka hapo Ephesians chapter 2 verse verse 2 verse 8 and 9. Tuwekee kwa 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 screen you can screen that Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 
mambo mawili katika maisha yetu kama wa Kristo Mungu anasema God says God says I am a jealous God I will not share my glory with anybody else There are other attributes ambazo Mungu anagawanya na watu wale wengine anatupea There are other attributes kutoka kwake ambazo anatupea and use them like love we love other people because he loved us isn't it we are able to love other people is God's attribute but we are able to exercise our love in various ways but when it comes to the issues of glory mambo kama ya holiness mambo ya salvation iko ke peke yake he says i'm a jealous god na kwa hivyo inasema ya kwamba hiyo inasema ya kwamba mambo kwa maana umeokolewa kwa neema na kwa njia ya imani ambayo hiyo haikotokana hai, hai nafsi zenu ni kipawa cha Mungu holiness and lusciousness and salvation come from God himself a very simple people very simple couple Joseph and Mary they lived holy and righteous lives na katika katika hali ile katika maisha yao ya kawaida God intervenes and uses them to bring the salvation. Kazi ambazo tunatenda katika maisha yetu tunapoishi katika hali ya utakatifu kule nyumbani mahali popote katika kazi zetu in the plans we have God is able to come in to intervene and to use what we have arranged to do a miracle. That's what he did with this very simple young couple. He used them to bring salvation to the whole world. So let us be faithful to God in whatever we are doing, the life that we live. Tuishi katika hali hiyo. Na Mungu mwenyewe ajatihilisha katika hali zozote katika mambo yote. Hata wakati huu wa Christmas, mahali popote ambapo tutakuwa. Let us be holy and righteous in what we do. And salvation it is not in one anybody else it is only in Christ this is by the grace of God it's a gift na mambo ya and the issues about holiness i cannot be able to keep myself holy it is god who holds you who gives you the power of the holy spirit through obedience and submission kwa sababu huyo mama alijitonea kwa sababu ya kutii kwake how submissive she was and accepting the will of God to be done in the life do we really accept at times the will of God to be done in our lives not very many people who are very submissive to God to the will of God to be done let us also accept the will of God to be manifested and to be done in our lives that's what we fail brothers and sisters we do not want the will of god to be done at times it is too hard for us but when he, even if it is too hard for us he is able ata wakatika isu katika mwili alipoona kikombe akasema ya kwamba siwezi kunywea katika kikombe hiki siwakati mmoja alikuwa karibu kushirwa si ndio but he say let the will of god be done wakati tunapokuwa na shida na tumelemewa we should say let the will of god be done let us be submissive to each other the issue of submissive hata katika familia imetuletea shida wake na waume we are not respecting each other we are not being being submissive to each other na ndipo shida zetu zimetuletea shida ndipo ndipo shida nyingi zimetuletea shida me i married a wife of almost of my age we are almost at the same age na kuna miaka yetu ya harusi ilikuwa mikali <laughs> because ni kama tuko tumefanya nini we are almost we are almost equal isn't it you almost equal in age and reasoning mpaka wakati mwingine nikaona ya kwamba huko haitaki nyaji hali usio ni ukora katikuo tuwaje na kuokora huko 
This is what we need to be wise enough, isn't it? To be wise enough. The issue of submissive even in the family. And respect. And it is not very easy in the family setting. Hata katika kuri ambapo tunafanya kazi. The issue of submission. Watu wengine wamekuwa wakali hata the code of ethics iko ya kazi. Hata ile ya kuanjiliwa. Lakini kifika mahali mtu hataki. The issue let us learn from from Mary the issue of submission in the family and even in our lives and surrendering to God to his will. And hayo ndio mambo ambao tukitaka kuangalia hata wakati huu wa Christmas. Kuangalia mambo yetu vile yanavyoendelea. Na tujue ya kwamba na tujue ya kwamba na tujue ya kwamba mambo ya utakatifu the holiness it is only from God we are holy not because we are holy we are holy because we believe that Jesus died because of our lives we are not holy because we are supposed to be holy because we are on effort you are holy because of what Jesus did for you we are holy because God is holy not because we are holy ourselves nela mwisho uokofu hakuna kwa mwingine ni kwa huyu salvation it is only in the lord himself so may mighty god as we go to celebrate christmas whatever we be he may lead us he may guide us lakini hiyo ujumbe wewe ni pamoja nasi mali popote ambapo tutakuwa tuombe na kushukuru mwenyezi mungu baba wetu wa mbinguni kwa vile umetuongoza mwaka huu wote mpaka wakati umefika tunajikabidi mikononi mwako ili unene nasi katika hili neno mambo ya kunyenyekea kukubali ya kwamba mapenzi yako yatendeke na yaonekane katika maisha yetu na hali ya utakatifu hatu ya tunayo inatoka kwako mambo ya wokofu ni katika kwako tufundishe katika hayo mambo kunyenyekeana huko nyumbani katika kazi na katika nchi yetu angalie vile tunavyoenda hakuna mtu anataka kunyanyakea let us run how we should be able to submit to be submissive in the will of god to be done in our lives speak to us lord through this message change us impact us and make us what you want us to be for we ask this in jesus name